absolutely love uh, scientific ballooning um, because it, it's so adventurous. Uh, even if it's just your experiment going up into space or even maybe more so uh, to the edge of space. And part of it is because uh, when you think about science and you think about doing science, it's often, you know, white lab coats and working, you know, in, on a bench top, you know, with beakers and test tubes. Whereas when you go outside and you have your little experiment and you have the balloon uh, and it's, it's ready to go, it's like being on race day at a racetrack. You know, you've put all of your energy into making sure that your experiment's going to work. Um, just like a, a race team is trying to make sure that their race car will work. Um, eventually, we may have robotic race cars, but right now, you know, you're, you're getting it ready for a driver. And then when the moment comes to let go of that payload and watch it go up, um, it involves all of your senses because and your emotions. One, you know, your, your heart rate is probably going to be pumping because you're about to let go of your precious little experiment. And two, you're going to hear that balloon. It's going to make noise um, because as soon as you let go of it, it's going to start moving a little bit and then it's going to start expanding. And then you get to watch it sort of disappear uh, you know, up into the, you know, heights of the atmosphere. Um, it's a truly emotional experience, at least I found it to be. Uh, and so much so that I decided that that's the way I wanted to do science, um, you know, at least for a while. And uh, so I, I spent my early career building experiments to go up on high altitude balloons. Um, and so, so my, my big advice is to make sure that uh, everything is, is ready to go before you let go of it. Because once you let go, you can't go, oops, I forgot to turn on the camera, right? That's not going to work. So make really make sure that everything is right. Um, and, and it's kind of a nervous time. So I would recommend you actually make a checklist that says, you know, you know, remove the red tags. You know, those red tags that say remove before flight, you know. And if there's three of them, you know, put number one, number two, number three, and then you check those off, you know. Insert battery, you know, make sure the battery is inserted, turn on camera, lens cap off, you know, make a checklist so that you make sure that on that day, everything happens. <laughs> 